Close your eyes. Take a few deep, long in and out breaths. And stay with the breathing. Just keep your attention with the breathing. You don't have to pay attention to anything else. Just know when your breath is coming in, know when your breath is going out. You do that one or two times, it doesn't make much of a difference. But if you stick with it for a long time, it'll have a good effect on the mind. It calms the mind down. Gives you a sense of belonging and being at home here in the present moment. When you settle down in the present moment, then you can watch what's really going on in your mind. You can understand your mind a lot better. So take some time. Just be with the breath. Any other thoughts come in, just let them go. Let them go. You've got more important work to do here. You've got to train your own mind. Because the kind of training we get in school just teaches us how to deal with the world, but it doesn't tell us how to deal in the world without suffering. Whereas the Buddha teaches us how to live in the world and not suffer at the same time. But to do that, we have to train the mind. Because if the mind isn't trained, then you can live with all kinds of comfort and all kinds of good things around you, but the mind can still suffer. And the other way around, though, is if the mind is trained, you can live in any situation and the mind doesn't have to suffer at all. So this is, has to be your top priority. This is the most important thing in life, getting the mind trained. So you stick with the breath coming in, you stick with the breath going out. And as I said in the beginning, it doesn't seem like much, but after a while the mind settles in and it has a sense of gathering together, all of its strength gathers together. You feel a lot more at ease in the present moment. You feel a lot more solid in the present moment. That allows you to stay here, and then you can watch what's ha what else is happening in the mind. When a thought goes out, something you want to do or say or think, where is that going to take you? You look at it a lot more clearly and say, okay, that kind of action doesn't take you where you want to go, so why do it? Or if it is an action that takes you where you want to go, okay, then you have the strength to go ahead and do it. Because sometimes we know what's right and what's wrong, but we don't have the strength to follow through with what's right and to abandon what's wrong. So the meditation helps give us that strength. So this is a really important skill to, de to develop. It's a skill that allows you to make your life a lot more complete. It makes your training in life a lot more complete. You learn about the world, but you also learn about your own mind. Because your own mind is the most imp important part of the world right here. It's what shapes your life more than anything else. So try to get it in, try to get the mind itself in good shape, and then we'll have a good effect on the whole rest of your life. This is important work that we're doing here. <laughs>